What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're bringing you guys one of the best combos in all of Scarlet and Violet. We got ourselves Don Dozo and Tatsugiri for ranked regulation age. Now, when it comes to this combo right here, this combo was really strong when Paradox and Legendary Pokemon were not in the format back in like season one. And now we're sitting here in regulation age where Legendary and Paradox Pokemon are not allowed once again. Now Dantozo and Tatsugiri are back in the meta. So we're going to be showcasing them. Going to be trying to grab some wins for you guys. Hopefully grabbing some wins for you guys and rocking out with this squad. But let's talk about Dantozo a little bit more with Unaware and the Leftovers as its item. It's got Order Up. It's got Wave Crash. It's got Terra Blast to go with its Terra Grass typing. And last but not least, it has Protect. Tatsugiri is over here. Rocking Commander, obviously, as its ability with the Choice Scarf as an item. So it could be a fast Pokemon outside of Dondozo. It's got Draco Meteor, Muddy Water, Icy Wind, and Dragon Pulse. Really love this moveset. This Tatsugiri can do some damage. For speed control on this team, we got ourselves the one and only Talonflame. Now, I love Talonflame. Not only does big time damage, but it can outspeed with full HP due to its Gale Wings ability. It's got Cobra Cloak as an item with Tailwind, Taunt, Brave Bird for stab damage, and it also has will o so if we want to deal with physical attackers, we can just throw a burn onto them. Our final three Pokemon on today's team features Glamora, Dragonite, and Goldingo. Goldingo's got that choice specs, doing big time special attacking damage. Dragonite's got that choice band, doing big time physical attacking damage. And then Glamora with the Power Herb. We can set up a Meteor Beam, do big time damage, and then get that plus one special attack boost. Pretty much just thrive out from there. I really do like Lamora in this format. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Mental Code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing Don Dozo and Tatsugiri in ranked regulation age. First match on its way, and it looks like we are going up against a Delphox Trick Room team. They got Indeedee, they got Torkoal, Gallade with Wide Guard, something that we might have to watch out for. And then they have Ursaluna and Hisuian Logan. Now, this combo could definitely get out of hand, especially if he wants to end up going into like Torkoal and Logan turn one. That could just be really scary for us. And how am I going to end up playing this? I mean, I could maybe just go like Glamora. But the problem is like an after you kind of like eruption is looking ugly I could just go in like a speed dragon you know what e speed dragon it looking pretty good with the choice ban because at least you would be able to go first and deal some damage onto that Torkoal. i do like dragonite out here for our lead so i'm gonna lead dragonite um i think i'll also lead glamora i think glamora is a solid pokemon and last but not least we will go into dondos with tatsugiri just bring them in late game just a bulky little combination i do like that but trick room oh looking scary we hate trick room and i don't really have a way of countering it Hmm. I do have Taunt. I want to leave Talonflame yet. You know what? We're going to watch all Glamora. And we're going to go Talonflame instead. Just in case they want to go into that uh that whole like Indeedy kind of play, right? And set up Trick Room that way. Yeah, so I'm going to swap out Glamora for Talonflame. I do like that. I do like that. Again, if they do go Torkoal Logan, we're just going to probably like normal Terra E speed. Actually, we probably wouldn't normal Terra. We'd probably keep our dragon typing just so, you know, fire moves don't, or we, we will still resist fire moves. And then E speed will negate a good chunk of that uh, eruption damage that could fly through there. But we'll see. I mean, he can sleep powder me. I feel, I feel like they got a lot of different options there. Or I can, I can Gale Wings. Gale Wings for first turn priority looks, sounds really good as well. Let's just see. Who you got? Indeedy Delphox. So. One of them's pop a trick room. One of them's pop a trick room. Hmm. It's probably just follow me, trick room. To be honest, this get this get a little ugly. I see it ugly. Yeah, psychic seeds. This just this just screams follow me, trick room, right? I could ice spinner get rid of terrain. That might help us out. Yeah, I think I'd rather just ice spinner get rid of terrain. Do I still go for this taunt? If I can, I'd like, I'd like to do it. If they go for follow me, they go for follow me. No big deal. Helping hand, hold up. Hold up. Dragonite, you gotta go first. Dragonite, you gotta go first here. Here comes the taunt. Dragonite, you gotta go first. I need you to get rid of this train. Uh-oh. Bye-bye, Talonflame. Dragonite, you should soak. Okay, Dragonite does soak. Alright, that's good news. So we end up taunting there. Ice Spinner's gonna fly and get rid of terrain. They ended up not popping Trick Room, which is kind of odd. But I mean, Delphox looking pretty fast. 
So Ice Spinner gonna fly through here. We do get rid of terrain, do respectable damage. Um I guess my play here is just go into Don Dozo and then maybe swap Dragonite for Tatsugiri. I think that's gotta be my play. And since you are taunted, you probably wanna swap. You could swap it in Torkoal. You think you're rocking Torkoal? I'm not really worried too much about the Stealth Fox right now. Especially without terrain. It is life orb, but without terrain, I feel like it really needs it. I think that the swap of the dragon is gonna come out here. Expanding force, really, right off the rip. I was I was for sure thought you were gonna go for uh for what's it called? For Trick Room. I for sure thought you were gonna go for Trick Room. And it would have been so nice if my dragon I could have outsped the Delphox. Because I could have just got rid of train and expanded force would have did like minimal damage. But we'll hard swap into Tatsugiri. We'll do a little bit of commander action. Um Hopefully they just stay on the field with Indeedee and we get rid of it and just not have them have terrain for the rest of the match, but chances are they probably swap it. Let's see. What you got? Where are you going to go for follow me? What are, you, what are you cooking up here? What are you cooking up here? Let's see. What, what you got? What you got? I'm going to see a Terra type pop out here. It's going to be a Delphox terrestrialization. The Delphox. No, Indeedee's going to Terra. What you got here? Why you got grass? For this reason? <laughs> is this why you got grass? That works so perfectly. Unless you're going for follow me, is that the play? No, what? You read that? That's crazy, but I still like that damage there. That damage is still really good. Expanded Force is going to fly. How much damage is this doing? We are special defense boosted. We soak decently well. And you're going to be able to pop a trick room, huh? Hate this game. You really went grass terror there. You really went grass terror. Um. I think our whole plan is just go for another wave crash to get rid of Delphox here. I think Delphox has got to go. So I'm going to go for an order up here. Or not an order up. A wave crash. See if I can just get rid of Delphox. Could go for follow me. You're going to go for helping hand. And you're going to drop another expanded force. Which we should soak. Which is good news. I should have probably protected this turn. Just to waste out another turn. But um, I, think we're, I think we're good here. I think we're good. So wave crash going to fly. Taking out the Delphox. Our opponent's actually playing really well right now. Gotta give it to him. But I'm just so surprised at what's going to happen. The Grass Terror there. That is wild. That is wild. That is wild. So I'm going to get some left herbs HP. I'm definitely forced to kind of just like protect this turn. Um, who do they go into? It's going to be Torkoal. It's going to be Gallade here. So Gallade comes through. Definitely got to protect now. And just waste out some turns. So protect coming out here. We still have Dragonite with E speed. They don't have the terrain. Which is really good for us right now. We still have the Dragonite. And I should have protected last turn. So I could have attacked this turn. Take out the Delphox. And then go into the protect again. Just to waste out another turn. That should be my play. But I'll protect this turn. Psychic's going to fly from Indeedee. They're just doubling down into the slot. And then we should go for another double protect. Or do I go for double protect here? I feel like it's like... I feel like we have to, right? I feel like we, we're we dead if we don't land a double protect. So we might as well go for it. Right? That makes sense. If they're outspeeding us, they're going to double down into us. We might as well go for double protect here. Give me no choice but to go for double protect. So I'm going to go for double protect. Fingers crossed that we land it. Could be a nice little RNG play for us. And we do land it. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. That We love that. We love that. So, again, there was no point for me not to go with the double protect. Um, and we'll see what they want to do from here. They're, they're probably double down into me, but this will be the last turn of Trick Room. And then I have Tatsugiri. And I have my Dragonite Raid roll. And I got some HP. Who knows? I might be able to get off a shot here. I might be able to get off a shot to you. And if I can, I obviously I want to go for a Wave Crash and a Glade. Let's see, second gun launch. Yeah, we're we're not surviving both these shots. Yeah, down to 27, and Sacred Sword's gonna finish this off. Yeah, so that was the whole whole thought process in going for double protect, which is just waste out the trick room. Maybe I should have went for triple protect. I probably should have. I probably should have, but chances chances are it wasn't working out. But now, no, what's it called is here. They got no. Uh, can't even think of what's called. No trick room. And I think our whole play is to just go Icy win for the KO onto Indeedee and Outrage away. 
I'm with this. We have Terra Normal. What's your Terra type? Tatsugiri. Water, I mean. We should probably save that. But yeah, I'm just going to go Icy Wind. I don't think you go for a Wide Guard this turn. I'm cool with this. I'm real cool with this. Follow me comes out here. This should be a fine turn for us. This should be a fine turn for us. Tatsugiri. Icy Wind for the KO. I just need you to KO Indeedee. Let's go. Outrage should be able to finish off this uh, Gallade and turn this into a 2v1. The thing is, I'm choosing the Icy Wind, though. I'm choosing the Ice Wind, which is a little rough for us. I maybe should have went for Muddy Water instead. But I think we should be fine with this. Because Outrage going to finish you off, like I thought. And then I can Icy Wind slow down whoever they bring out here and just Outrage into that slot. It's going to actually be really close. It's going to be super close. Look, it comes out of your final Pokemon. Icy Wind's actually perfect. Did they use Terra yet? Did they use Terra? They did. They went Grass Terra indeed, because I was upset at that. So now we can Icy Wind here. We're choosing to Outrage. Tatsugiri should outspeed. I know Logan's pretty fast. But Tatsugiri's going to outspeed no problem. Do half damage. Slow it down and can Dragonite finish off this match? You do not. But Tatsugiri, let's be honest here. Icy Wind's perfect here. Icy Wind's perfect. Wow, you really outspeed me minus one. But still, yo, that double protect might have made the match. That made or break, made or break us. Which is huge. Another Icy Wind flies through here. We're going to win. So thank you, Poke Gods, for allowing me to land that double protect. We'll take match number one, no problem. Moving on to our second match. Looking to go 2 and 0. We dominated the first match. I wouldn't say dominate. That's a, that's a little stretch. Our opponent did play good, but uh, our Pokemon came up clutch. Wasting out Trick Room, double protecting, Dragonite, Hatsugiri. Nice big time win for us. But we're going up against Volcarona, Rillaboom, Primarina, King Gambit with Defiant, which we don't really have to worry about. We're not rocking Incineroar or any Intimidate Pokemon. And then they got Clefable and Golden Go. Um, for the lead, I think they're going to lead maybe like a Fake Out user. In that case, I could just go like Glamora alongside with like Golden Go. And I kind of like that with Tatsugiri and Don Dozer for late game. Mm, what is your Terror type, Golden Go? Is it straight Steel? It is straight Steel, which is kind of scary because they might lead Volcarona. I could maybe just switch and go like Talonflame. I mean, Talonflame can work wonders here. Burns, all that good stuff. Yeah, you know what? Get on out of here, Golden Go. Get on out of here. We're going Golden Go. We're going Talonflame. Same lead as last time. And we're going to get after it. Just our Talonflame got absolutely ripped on by the Expanded Force helping hand, which I wasn't expecting. I was just like, dude, they got to set up Trick Room. With Torkoal in the back end, they got to set up Trick Room. And they just ended up going right after me. And luckily, my Dragonite survived on four, which was very clutch for us. And my Talonflame just went bye-bye. So, Talonflame looking to return from the dead here. Looking to get after it. Looking to actually do something in this battle. And they're going to end up leading these two. So, our original lead would have been perfect. And <laughs> I kind of screwed myself, but it's whatever. Um, we can't burn any of these guys. Um, it's Sludge Bomb away. But I'd rather set up with a Meteor Beam first and foremost, right? I could go, like, Grass Terra. I could just set up a Tailwind. I'm going to Terrasalize Grass and just send a Meteor Beam in the Primarina. And from here, I'm going to say screw it and just get the Tailwind off for the rest of the squad. We're just going to Tailwind. If Talonflame dies, Talonflame dies. At least it gets off Tailwind this time. At least it gets off Tailwind, so I like where it's sitting. It's not sitting in a terrible position. But Glamour is going to be, you know, the bread and butter right now. To get rid of these fairy type Pokemon, especially after going plus one here. I think we really good. But we'll also see a Terra pop out from their side. I think they think we're, we're launching a Sludge Bomb. So they're going to Terrasalize Clefairy and go into Straight Steel. That better not be following me. That better not be following me. I'd be very upset. I do have Earth Power ready to rock, but still. It is following me. So my Meteor Beam going to hit like a, a Charmin Ultra Strong Paper Towel here. That one does launch, which is good. And Meteor Beam is going to fly. Or send it. You got to be going for Hyper Voice, right? Primarina. Seems like a must. I'm just hoping my Town Flame can, can eat it up for one more turn, which would be really nice. Ooh, it would be lovely. The Meteor Beam flies here. It does Paper Towel-ish damage. And there's the Hyper Voice. So, good Terror on our end. Town Flame's going to drop out. Um, no big deal. I mean, I'm hoping Earth Power can just KO this Clefable. That's really where I'm at. And Primarina did show that it is Life Orb. Um, I could go into you, but I think I'd rather just go into you. Maybe just protect at this point. Maybe just protect. 
Yeah, we'll, we'll just leave Don Dozo on the field. They, they might think that we're actually like swapping here. Um, but I'm just going to, you know, go into this Earth Power. I'd like to just get rid of you. Hopefully, I can KO. Do I Wave Crash double down just in case? I think so. I think I have to double down to this Fable here just in case. He ends up withdrawing it. We are doubled down into the slot. Let's see what Primarina wants to do. He going into it is a real question. Volcarona. Okay, this works. Volcarona's gone. I'd rather get rid of this Volcarona. See you later, Volcarona. Get on out my face. Get on out my face. Get on out my face. Doubling down. See you later. So you're gone. Um, what are you going for, Primarina? Are you sticking with this Hyper Voice? I doubt it. Switching Moonblast? We are going to switch Moonblast. You should soak this. Need don't. I need you to soak that. This life orb Pokemon right here just doing me dirty. I need you to soak that. Wow, our our, our Terra would have been huge on Don Dozo. It would have been great on Don Dozo. But I still got two big ballers out here. Don Dozo, Tatsuki, ready to thrive out. It's time to get after it. It's time to get after it. I really wanted one more Sludge Bomb turn. I should have Sludge Bomb in the Primarina that last one, but I could have sworn you were gonna go for Follow Me, so I went to sh just get rid of the Fable. So I bring out Tatsuki right here. They're going to throw back out Clefable. Yep. Clefable gets back on out here. Um, What could they do? I mean, Moonblast can fly. I mean, we are going plus two, though. Hmm. I think we just got to wave crash this Clefable slot, correct? Makes the most sense. I'm just hoping it would KO. Clefable's a little bit bulky. A little bit bulky, but this Primarina looking scary. Primarina looking like we can't really do much to it. I got to go wave crash into this Fable slot. Gotta go for it. I mean, we could probably do respectable damage with Wave Crash into Prima Arena. Let's be honest. We probably could do respectable damage, but I'm hoping they just, like, or this Wave Crash can just KO the Clefable. And then we can start dealing with the other Pokemon. But right now, like, this matchup is not good for um, my Don so Not good at all. I would have saved their Grass Typing, but then Gilmore would have taken some big damage. Wave Crash gonna fly. Can this KO? It does not. Like I said, you're just a bulky Clefable. A real bulky Clefable. And you got a berry. Yeah, that's not that's look, not looking good for us. <laughs> not looking good whatsoever. Moonblast gonna launch. They're gonna double down with Moonblast. And that's probably gonna be enough. This Oh, you got Haze. Yeah, thanks for playing, Jeans. Thanks for playing. Just solid plays for them. Solid terrestrialization. Yeah, rough one for us here. I'll take it, though. We'll take this loss on the chin. Um, do I go for Wave Crash again? Kind of curious to see how much damage it would do to you. So I'm going to send it over in this slot. Let's see. Wave Crash going to fly. How much damage are we doing in the Primarina? About the same amount of damage that we're kind of doing onto the Skull Fable. But I mean, we don't have plus two anymore. And out comes Moonblast just to finish me off. So I got Tats Tatsugiri left, but I'm, this thing is not, it's not going to pick up the win. The Fairy Typing on the field. This thing's launching Moonblast. I totally forgot about that. And I'm down to 15 HP already. So, again, GG Sword opponent. We're not going to get swept here. We did take out the Volcarona, but I'm definitely going to run this match. They had a great little matchup for us. Let's go hop to our third and final match. Look for a 2-1 winning record. Final match on its way. We got dumped on in the last match. No way to sugarcoat it. It is what it is. It is what it is. But we're going up against a dope team with Chandelure, who I love. Scizor, Jolteon, Gallade, Dragonite, and Goldigo. So, really dope team here. Um, I definitely want to bring Tatsugiri Dantoso again, and I think bringing him late game is definitely better for us than early game. Um, who should I lead here, though? I do like Lamora. I mean, I think Lamora can do a lot, but to be honest, like two steel types looking scary at that instant. So I think I might just go like Talonflame. Hmm, maybe. Maybe. I could actually just go Dantoso for the lead, just to pose that threat that we are going to swap into Tatsugiri and just not do it. But yeah, you know, we're going to go down those over here. We are going to end up going Glamora. If I want to throw as I can, we'll bring Tatsukiri. And then last but not least, Golden Go or Dragonite. I'm going to go Dragonite. We're going Dragonite all day. We love ourselves a good old Dragonite. So looking for a win here in match number three. Looking for a winning record. I don't really know who they're going to lead. I think Golden Go or Scissor might come out here. And if that's the case, I'm just going to throw as my Glamora and really just pose a threat. Or I could just swap in. Swap in. Not swap. I could just swap into Tatsugiri and, uh, Go commander mode. And they're going to end up leading Scissor and Glee. Do I just stay in here? I don't know. How do I... How should I play this one? Best bet might just be to swap. Best bet might just be to swap and just wave crash. 
I mean, Glade, what could you go for? Sacred Sword, all that good stuff? I think we just wave crash this slot and we swap. Let's play it safe. We'll save for Glamour. We will save the Glamour. So I was thinking of just staying in attacking because, like, the obvious play is to swap here. But sometimes making the obvious play is just the best play. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. The simple plays usually win you games. For the most part. Especially if you're in lower ranks. Higher ranks, it's like, okay. Like, real high ranks. It's like, alright, you're gonna have to be making reads. But we're gonna swap into Tatsugiri here. Get our Dondoza fully boosted on plus two. And Wave Crash gonna fly out here. Outspeeding the Scizor. Outspeeding the... Uh, oh, wow, you live on one. Outspeeding the Glade. And this thing lives on one. Psycho Cut gonna fly. Someone is attacking Tatsugiri slot. Which is great. And he's gonna U-turn pivot. That's fine. So I'm gonna be able to get some leftovers. I got Scissor down to one. So I'm, I'm able to E-speed that and KO it with Dragonite if we need it. So that's good to know. That is good to know. So they're gonna send out another Pokemon. Who they got is gonna be Chandelure. So Chandelure's gonna come out here. It's gonna Terrastalize. It's a pretty obvious read for us. The so Chandel's gonna Terrastalize. We're just gonna dump on this Glade. Just do some big time damage. Chandel's just gonna go into Grass Typing. It is what it is. Or you might protect, but I'm gonna Wave Crash this Glade. I'm gonna wave crash your glade. So big time catfish getting after. I'm hoping you just protect rather than terrestrialize, but it's gotta be either or at this point. You're not just gonna sit here and, you know, let me drop a wave crash in that slot. It's just not happening. It's just not happening. And yeah, there's there's terror type. So Grass Terror gonna come out here for Chandelure. That's a that, that's a pretty simple, easy like we, we knew that was happening the minute Chandelure stepped on the field, yeah, it's Grass Terror. Alright. So I'm gonna wave crash the Glade. I was kind of hoping they would protect because that would buy us a little bit more time to just keep attacking. But you're gonna rip Energy Ball. We survive. Let's go. And you're outspeeding me, which kind of sucks. Special defense drop. I'm gonna KO myself two wave crash here. I'm hoping I can, you know, go one for one here. And dude, what is up with the one HPs? Okay, you're focused, Ash. That makes sense. But I was gonna say. 1 HP bandits over here because scissors on one, glades on one. Um, I could probably just choice into E speed at this point, right? That's where he's gonna have to take a sacred sword, which is gonna sting a little bit. A lot of bit. Wow. Wow, that hurt. Wow, that hurt. Um, do we think they have golden go? That's the real question. Do we think they have gold go? Again, E speed is gonna be our friend. E speed is gonna be our friend here. I don't think they have Golden Go. There's no way they have Golden Go. If they have Golden Go, I mean, I can kind of deal with it a little bit with uh with Glamora. But E speed's gonna fly. She's gonna finish off you. We're choice into that now. And Chandelure looks like it's gonna outspeed us, right? Yeah, Energy Ball gonna launch here. I should have terrestrialized my Glamour. What am I doing? Can you soak this? Okay, cool. You do end up soaking it. Sludge Bomb gonna launch. And that does KO. That's huge. And now they're sitting here with Scissor. And whoever their final Pokemon is. Whoever their final Pokemon is. I couldn't tell you who it is. I couldn't tell you. But I still have Terra, which is good. I could go Terra normal just for E speed damage boost. But it's going to be Dragonite from them. And we're probably going to want to Terrasalize the normal. Um, but I think first and foremost, we should just protect our Glamora and just E-Speed you down. Just to get rid of you. And then just go from there. So that's going to be the play. That is going to be the play. They don't have Terra. We still have Terra. I'm keeping my... Ooh, maybe I should have just went normal Terra right now. But I, th I don't think you attack my Dragonite this turn. I really don't. I'm going to end up spiky shielding right now. And E-Speed's going to fly out from here. I think you got to attack my Glamour. There's no way you go for Outreach in the Dragonite slot. I'm going to be so upset if that happens. Ice Punch. Oh, no. I should have Terrastalized. What am I doing? What am I doing? I have to stay rock typing now. I can't thrasalize. Meteor Beam gonna fly here. It's gonna go first. Am I gonna get bailed out here? Are you multi scaled? Hopefully, you're inner focus because Meteor Beam has a shot of KO on you at this point. Let's see. I should just thrasalize my Dragonite and play it safe. And you're gonna be multi scaled. And I lose this match. 
That one's on me. That one's on me. All day long. All day long. We played that one good. We just didn't try slice at the end just to secure the victory. That's a tough one. That's a tough one to swallow. I thought we played good today. We got one and two. I am man enough to admit when I messed up. In that last match, I sold it. I sold it. I had the win. All I need to do was terrestrialize, play it safe. And I didn't terrestrialize, play it safe. That's all I had to do. Was just protect Dragon Or not protect Dragon Knight. Terrestrialize Dragon Knight. And I would have won. I went for the spiky shield. I ended up not using my terrestrialization. And I should have. And if I would have, E-Speed wouldn't have KO'd me. Like, it was just like... Or not E-Speed. Ice Punch wouldn't have KO'd me. It was just a simple play. I could have won it all day long. And I don't know why I didn't do it. I think I just got ahead of myself. Just started clicking buttons real quick. And end up losing. But I'll take that one on the chin. Went 1-2 for today's video. Definitely played as we should have went 2-1. We definitely got worked in match number 2. But match number 3 was our match to win. And I just sold it. But it is what it is. Happens all the time. That's my fault. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.